In this video, we're going to learn how to declare a variable. So we're going to go down here where it says variable. We're going to click and drag it up here. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to tell the computer what data type the variable is. So under value type, I'm going to drop down here. Now the data type all depends on what type of information we want to put inside here. If we want it to hold a decimal number, like 0 0.25 or 1.0 or 3.14, we'll choose decimal number. If we want it to be a number with no decimal, positive or negative, we do whole number. If we want the data to be either a true or a false, we do a boolean. If we want a word or words or a letter, we use the text string type. In this case, I just want a whole number, so I'm going to select whole number. I'm going to name it. Now, I want to name it something that makes sense in regards to what its purpose is, so that makes it easier for other programmers to look at my code and understand what's going on. So I want to make this about a choice. So I'm going to call it choice 1. And you see I use lower camel case. All the words start with an uppercase letter except for the first one. Now I have to initialize it. This is to give it its initial or starting value. Usually if we don't care, and usually we don't care what the initial value is, we just set it to 0. So I hit OK, and now I have a variable called choice 1. It can store any whole number, and we've started it out with a value of 0. 